hi all so today in this video we'll be learning about uh, how we can fetch how we can fetch or get some text from an element okay so basically let's say uh, here uh, we are clicking on this login button and we are getting this text right so we need to fetch this text so how we can fetch it okay anything we can fetch like this can be also a text that we need to fetch or this one or this source level whatever text presents something we need to fetch right so that uh, it can be a button also like the login word for example we are taking this error message now so let's uh, inspect it and let's uh, create the locator so the message is here data set error and this is the message okay so we can actually this message is coming under this h3 tag right if i hover over here it is highlighting there right so we need to create the locator from this h3 tag and let's create one xpath for this so h3 and then at the rate data set equals to error right and click enter error so there is some problem let's see what is that problem so it's data test okay so we got the locator and now we need to give it so before that what we can do we can i mean we just created the locator but uh, we have to first create the template right so quickly let's quickly create the template so playwright uh, code gen and system. so it will open the playwright inspector and let's quickly click on this login button and now we got the sample code and let's make it by test so yeah okay so we got it now we clicked on this login but uh, login button right and now we have to fetch the error text so let's make it like error text and we can create the locator page dot locator and then we can pass the locator that we created here so yeah and now we need to click dot to get to see what thing we can use so here we need to fetch the text okay so it's the text which we need to fetch so we can use text content so let's see it what it is describing so it's saying it is returning node dot text content so some kind of javascript internally it is uh, kind of calling some the javascript uh, method so text content okay so that we can try also i'm confused you may be confused between another text that is inner text right so this is also uh, you can use so let's do both of this and try it and let's see what difference maybe it will work or it not it will not work we do not know right so first use this text content and print the value and let's close it so here we need to run it by test minus s for giving the input output and uh, then we need to keep headed and then we need to um, yeah we need to give the path right so we are under basics and then we need to keep take oh okay i did a mistake i hope you catched got it right so we need to make it like rename it 
to start it with text otherwise by test will not recognize it okay so yeah I mean this is the convention that PyTest follows so you can watch my previous videos for PyTest and let's run it and see whether it's working or not Uh, there is some hiccups so let me close it so it didn't start uh, let me see I think I did some okay okay I mean I took the wrong file so yeah now I rectified it now let's see so it's opening source demo okay so we didn't see anything right but did it okay you can see this text got uh, fetched right so let me run it once again and let me show you the UI properly so slow motion slow motion equals to thousands so it hit on the login button and you can see the error text and here it is printed okay cool now let's change it to inner text okay so you can see in our text is also printing the same message epic surface and re username is required so the surface is actually this should be emoticons but uh, it is not properly uh, I don't know why it is happening here as well right surface <laughs> okay fine but now the question is arising why they have created these two methods uh, which is doing the same thing right so I was also confused here so when find like article in stack overflow so here it is so it's saying like the inner text which is non-standard and text content was standardized earlier okay so what is saying this inner text actually returns the visible text okay so but whereas this text content returns the full text okay it can it, it will include both visible and non visible text okay that's the simple difference okay you can uh, read more about it uh, here on this article like the poor misunderstood inner text the real difference so it's saying like uh, inner text will look like this but a text content will look like this because so it's saying like notice how inner text almost precisely represents exactly how text appears on the page whereas this text content on the other hand does not does something strange it ignores the new line created by br tag okay so that's the javascript thing but uh, just the difference i'm saying you uh, but the actual difference in our automation work so if you have anything like hidden text okay and you need to remove it in that case you do not want that re visible uh, remove sorry that hidden text in that case you should use this inner text one okay so in our case we we want we do not want the uh, I mean hidden text right so we want the visible text so in that case we should use this inner text only not the text content okay text content will always fetch you uh, the hidden text as well along with the visible text so if you do not want to that one that thing like you, you, if you are want if you if you want only the visible text in that case you should use this one and in our case I want to use this one only okay so hope this is clear and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe